Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some more Pokemon Swoosh. Last time I did basically just a bunch of grinding to prep for the gym. I probably don't need to, but yeah, whatever. I did a bit more off camera as well. So Carl is now level 21, Gareth is level 14. Uh, I think we're gonna see how we go like this. Um, hopefully that'll do the trick. Let's go. <laughs> uh, well, let's hop. Being hop. Take a look at this, Danielle. The grass gym badge. I got it in one try. I reckon I'm just about the greatest when it comes to wrangling Wooloo. I've had plenty of practice at it, after all. But I'm sure you can win this one, too. After all, you are my rival. Let's go. I don't know what to expect. Oh my god. It's Space's choice again. <laughs> You're so terrifying. Hey there, thanks for rolling by to have a chat with your mate, the ball guy. As a sign of our friendship, let me give you a wonderful Pokeball. You obtained a friend ball. You put the friend ball in your bag, Pokeball's pocket. A strange Pokeball will make the wild Pokemon caught with it more friendly toward you immediately. You catch a Pokemon with the friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time, just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? God, you're scary. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> oh, it's a little, little buzzy friend. Hello, little buzzy friend. I'm trying to talk to your, your trainer over here. You're a gym challenger, right? I'll remember your name if you can receive a grass badge. Thanks. Grass type Pokemon, Pokemon are weak to fire type moves. That's common sense. Oh, I just can't seem to catch a Galarian Meowth. If you've got a Galarian Meowth, want to trade it for my Meowth? Uh, alright. Uh. Do you have like a regular Meowth instead? Is that the idea? Like, is yours non Galarian? Uh, I'm sure I had a Marissa. Magic up, right. Yeah, you can have my, my meow. Here you go. Wow, it's so cute. Really? It doesn't creep you out at all? You okay with training it for my Pokemon? Sure. Sending Melissa to, to Madia? Goodbye, Melissa. <laughs> just, just, just yeet the Pokeball. Maddie sent over cash. Ooh, do you know Payday? Take good care of cash. Hooray, it's the Galarian Meowth of my dreams. I'll take such good care of it. Depending on the region, some Pokemon may have a different appearance or types. Or both. I want to have a look and see what moves this new Meowth I have now knows. What we got? Uh, yeah, Payday, Bite, Last Resort, and Scratch. Uh, timid. Oh, baby. Oh, I'll keep you safe. Technician. Powers up the Pokemon's weaker moves. Interesting. And they're holding a Citrus Berry, which is nice. Good to, good to have a Citrus Berry every now and then. Uh, hello. So apparently you can't face the gym leader without completing the gym mission first? I wonder what we'll have to do. I'm pretty good at dancing. Oh, I hope it's dancing just for you. You're adorable. Uh, can we talk to any of you or you... No, you, you just got a speech bubble. Okay, can I talk to you? What, that kid? Or me? Who are you talking about? Are they girlfriends? I hope so. They look cute. Oh, is this a clothes shop? Welcome to the uniform shop. You looking for anything in particular? Ooh, hello. Hang on, hang on, what do we got here? Okay, so I can buy different outfits here. I know the fighting one is what B wears. Um, I also know I don't get to fight her in this game because I picked shield, so that's annoying. 
Oh, I can't use the right stick to rotate myself because it's in simple controls mode. Interesting. Uh, I can't see the water type uniform here, which is a bit annoying because Ness is cute. Um, I'm guessing I can get it from one of the other gyms. What's over here? Is it a regular shop? Yep, that's the same stuff that's in the Pokemon Center shop, so yeah, nothing too exciting. Uh, I think I've spoken to everyone now, so let's go in. Oh, look at that smile. Look, look, big smile. Welcome, Gym Challenger. Allow me to help you through your registration. First things first, how about a quick refresher about the Gym Challenge? Your goal as a Gym Challenger is to complete every Gym mission, defeat every Gym leader, and gather eight Gym badges. Wow, sounds like Octopath Traveler. Because <laughs> there's eight. <laughs> uh, got it. So, would you like to attempt the gym mission? Let's do it. If you'd like to attempt the gym mission, please change into your uniform. Oh yeah, sure. I'll go do that. In the, in the change room over there. Heck yeah. Let's go. Then let the gym mission begin. Give it your best shot. I don't know what the gym mission will be about, uh, so I guess we'll, we'll see what this is about. That's a leaf. There it is again. Okay. Okay, so I need to get to that door. Probably by fighting my way through? The mission given by Turfield's Pokemon Gym is this. To chase our unruly Wooloo. But they're not even grass type. So that blockade we've made from our bales of straw over there. Oh, by the way, you can call me Dan. I serve as a referee and it's also my job to report the results of battles to the League HQ. Now let the gym mission begin. Uh... Oh, I see. They, they roll away from me. This looks really straightforward. Okay. <laughs> I kind of expected more battles, but alright. Do I have to get rid of the Yampus so they'll keep going? Or no? Nope, oh, yeah, it, the Yampus scares them. Okay, there are some battles on the way, but looks like almost. This is really silly. <laughs> Welcome, Gym Challenger. Sorry, but I have to send you packing. It's my job. Well, you say that. You were challenged by Gym Trainer Samuel. Alright. Gossifleur. Oh, look how cute. Gossifleur's adorable. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, I, I'm afraid I have flame charge. Yeah. Sorry. Rapid skin, huh? Hmm. At least your speed rose. That's something. Plunk. <laughs> it's super effective. Goodbye, Gossifla. Experience points. As expected, a gym challenger and their Pokemon are in perfect sync with each other. This music's really good. Nice. <laughs> Look how happy Samuel is. I got a bunch of Poke Yen for winning, that's pretty neat. Let's go. Okay, so we got, um, I guess we want to go this way because the amp is in the middle. But I don't want to miss any battles. And there's Samuel's identical twin over there, so... I'll, t I'll just take the Wooloo through, and then I'll go back and do the battle. <laughs> oh, this is so silly. I wonder if your Pokémon want to use their moves with all their strength and feel great. Probably. We're challenged by Dream Trainer Mark. It's Samuel's twin. 
And they both wear glasses, it's real cute. Go Carl. Let's set this little Badu on fire. This hardly seems fair. Oh no! Did I get a critical hit? No, it's just that, just that, like, low HP. Oh my goodness. Or low death, I'm not sure. Oh, you have another Pokemon. It's Oddish. Is there like a Galarian Oddish? Or is it just... No, it's just a normal Oddish. Okay. Wasn't sure. What to expect. Use Flame Charge. Super effective. Carl's quick increase. Oh, paralysis. That could be a problem. Since I don't think you're allowed to leave during the challenge like you can in previous games. Uh, do that just to conserve my uh, flame charges. Oh, well, I think I have a bunch of paralyzed heals, so I should be fine. <laughs> I'll give a bow walk instead of Yampa. God, look how cute and happy they are when you win. It's adorable. <laughs> hey, Yampa. Good puppy. I want to just quickly use a paralyzed heal. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. There we go. Okay, we got another trainer over here. Watch out, sheepies. Da, 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 no, go this way. Do, do, do. Oh no, they are getting split up. Do, 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 do. There we go, that did the trick. <laughs> oh, hi, cutie. The gym leader lies just ahead of you, but that doesn't mean you'll be reaching him. You were challenged by Dream Trainer Leah. Oh, you're cute. Bounce sweet. Look, it's Van Sweet! Little, little baby! Little baby! Yeah, I think I'm overleveled for this gym. It's okay though, having fun. Bump. Goodbye, Van Sweet. Uh, another Oddish? Yeah, I'll keep going, Pokemon. Send out Oddish! Carl used flame charge on the Oddish. It didn't quite die, but it came close. Growth. Nice. That, that won't affect me at all. Nice. Good choice. <laughs> Use a tackle. There we go. Clunk. Cruising Oddish fainted. Goodbye, Oddish. Garrett's good level 15. You defeat Jim Trinalia. Next is the gym leader, right? What a strong challenger. Oh, she's so happy. I love how happy they are when you beat them. It's so great. Look, they're just little cuties. Oh, and the, and the Yampers are over here now. Hello, Yampers. Time for pets. Oh, good little puppies. Okay, we're nearly done. Wooloo, get on to the thingy. It's kind of weird that you have all this Wooloo here when they're not grass type. Wooloo is normal type. Hmm. And like, it would make sense for them to be weak to fire because they've got all that wool or whatever, but they're not, they're not weak to fire. So, I don't know. Goo. <laughs> oh, go? They're saying go? I don't know, or is it goo? I'm not sure. <laughs> Let's go visit the gym leader. I wonder if this battle will be a little bit harder than the previous one. Gym mission cleared. Oh, I'm waving. Oh, that's cute. Okay, so the gym mission looks to be roughly the same as the gyms in the earlier games, where it's just like a little mini challenge puzzle area of sorts with trainers in. Uh, I don't know if they'll, they'll all be like that or if they'll be a bit different. 
But yeah, it's it's roughly the same as the gyms worked in all the games. My goodness. Time to challenge... Your name's Milo, right? Yes. My gym's the first one people face, so we get a lot of challenges. That's why I try to keep the gym mission challenging, but... That didn't stop you from completing it, Danielle. Well, it was really easy. Like, you need to work on that. Proper job. I should probably be using, like, a more English accent. Because for all these characters, because we're in England, or like Pokemon England or whatever. Sure seems like you understand Pokemon real well. This is going to be a doozy of a battle. I'll have to Dynamax my Pokemon if I want to win. Oh gosh. Am I going to Dynamax too? I, I haven't done that yet. Get hype, y'all. Let's go. You were challenged by Gym Leader Milo. Gym Leader Milo sent out Gossifler. He was in an Ultra Ball for some reason. Go, Carl. Oh, oh. In the Galar region, Pokemon can become far larger than usual in certain places. This transformation is called Dynamaxing. Press the Dynamax button when your Dynamax band lights up to Dynamax your Pokemon. Dynamax, Dynamax, Dynamax. Your Pokemon can only Dynamax for three turns. During that time, your Dynamax Pokemon can use extremely powerful moves known as Max Moves. These max moves not only deal tremendous damage, they can also trigger special effects. The exact effect changes depending on the type of move the move used. Choose carefully when to Dynamax your Pokemon and smash your way to victory. Okay, I think I should probably just attack normally uh, against Gossifleur here, because chances are his second Pokemon will be stronger. So I'm gonna just lead with a Flame Charge here. Magical Lee. Because, yeah, you can only Dynamax for three turns, according to that little tutorial there. And I've wasted two of them, possibly, if I did had Dynamax for the first bit. And I'm guessing, like, Milo is going to Dynamax his second Pokémon as well, so... Ooh, Sucker Punch. Uh, maybe? Let's have a look. This move enables 70... This move fails if the target is not ready in attack. Um... You mean, like, if they're doing something other than an attack, or I'm confused? Hmm. Maybe I'll drop Bind and replace it? I don't know. Uh, I think you can just get back any move that you didn't learn by going to the Move Rememberer or whatever in the Pokémon Center, so I might just not, not bother to learn it and maybe come back to it later. Maybe I should drop Pound and replace it, because... Or bind. Yeah, I might drop bind. Uh, or pound. I'll drop pound. Bind is better for doing like tiny amounts of damage if I want to catch something anyway. There we go. Uh, I think I can go back and learn like any moves that I don't know if I want. So it should be fine. Woohoo! We're not going to be done in that easily. We're tough as weeds. Sent out Eldegoss. Oh, Eldegoss cute. Eldegoss cute. Okay, now let's Dynamax. Let's see what happens. Get ready, y'all. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess we'll do Max Flare. Okay, so I return my Pokemon, and then the ball just gets real big. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Big car call. My goodness. Come on then, it's Dynamax time. We're about to be uprooted. Yeah, I figured they'd Dynamax too. Oh, just, just give the ball a little pat. That was cute. Okay, so now our Pokemon are both enormous and stronger. I'll use Max Flap. It's super effective. The sunlight turned harsh. 
This will really leave you in shock and awe. It's our Dynamax move. Max Overgrowth. Okay, I'm fire type, so... Oh, wow. A critical hit. Grass grew to cover the battlefield. What does that do? Carlotta's HP restored by the grass? Does that heal everyone? That seems like a bad move. <laughs> oh, let's do another flare. Um. Heck yeah! It's super effective! The opposing Elder Glass fainted. Oh my goodness. Experience points. I'll go to level 22. Now they go to level 20. She wants to learn Body Slam. Yeah, she can learn Body Slam. Uh, let me see. Hmm. 85 damage. Hmm. I feel like spending three moves on stockpile stuff is kind of a waste. Um, I might drop Swallow and replace it with Body Slam. Again, you can bring back any forgotten move, I'm pretty sure, so... Shouldn't be too much of a problem if I want it, want it again. Move Swift. Yeah, we can learn Swift. Starship. 60 power. Uh, sand attack? Goodbye, sand attack. <laughs> Everyone leveled up. <laughs> Little Kako. You defeated Gym Leader Milo. Yeah! <laughs> the power of grass has wilted. What an incredible gym challenger. You got 3200 Poke again for winning. I mean, M Milo, you only used grass type Pokemon and I had a fire type. Like, it's very simple. That must have been a fulfilling Pokemon battle for you. As proof that you've defeated a gym leader for the gym challenge, allow me to present to you with your very own grass badge. <gasps> what the rest of it? <laughs> you can now catch Pokemon of up to level 25. Could I not do that before? You need to obtain all eight gym badges in order to complete the gym challenge. And the only way to gather the badges is to defeat every gym leader. Challenger Danielle, my most sincere congratulations on defeating Gym Leader Milo. Please accept this TM to commemorate your victory. TM10 Magical Leave. Neat, sounds good. Here, you can have Milo's uniform to go with it. It's a replica, of course. You got a grass uniform. Okay, so you probably can only buy the ones that you won't be fighting, which is why I can get which is why I can get B's uniform. Maybe. Some advice for you, Danielle. The gym challenge has a set order you'll need to follow. So that means your next stop should be in Holbury to meet Nessa. <gasps> Nessa! Ah! I love Nessa, she's so cute. <laughs> Holbury's just beyond Route 5. Or since you've got the grass badge, you can head to the wild area. It's a bit tricky to catch Pokemon that are higher level than the Pokemon on your team, but they make powerful allies if you succeed. Thanks, Milo. Uh, should I talk to these people again? Will I have new stuff to say? Yes, I must congratulate you on obtaining the grass badge. I hope you're able to get the water badge too. I hope so too. Your name is Danielle, right? You're pretty amazing. I've become such a fan. Oh, thank you. Heck yeah, I could. <laughs> Thanks for the Galarian meow. How is Cash? Doing good. Fine. Um, yeah, I'm a great trainer. Oops. Where's the first line of what you're saying? Like, it's not a capital letter, it's like there's a, a missing message or something. But having his chase around Wulu, Milo's not as nice as he looks. But it's very easy. If you catch a Pokemon with the friend ball, it'll become friendly with you in no time, just like how we became friends. Pokeballs are just full of surprises, don't you think? You're still creepy. Uh, talk to Milo? 
So that means your next stop should be in Holbury to meet Nessa. Holbury should be on Route 5. Blah, 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 you already said that. Just wanted to check if you had something new. The grass badge looks good on you. Keep at it, Challenger Danielle. Thank you. I'm guessing somewhere in my menu here I can see the fact that I've got the badges. Move on my league card. Yeah, there it is. On the, on the side there. I kind of catch Pokemon up to level 25. That sounds weird. Like, I don't think that's how Pokemon normally works. I'm pretty sure you can catch stuff of any level. It's just you've got to be putting a lot more effort in if you don't have very many good Pokemon to do it with. Hmm. I don't know about that. Okay, so how do we get to Holbury? We probably have to head this way, right? Oh, right, yeah, this bridge was being repaired or whatever. And now it will be working again? Yeah. That makes sense. Sort of. <laughs> Uh, I probably need to heal, actually, after doing that. And I might swap Cynthia back into first place. There we go. And apparently I don't need to heal, I have full health, so... I, I guess the battle automatically heals you afterwards. I'm not really sure what the point of that is, because you're always going to go past the Pokemon Center after, but... Eh. Time for a special interview with a gym challenger. The best way to get to know you is a Pokemon battle, of course. Good Pokemon and trainers really shine on camera. Is this a double battle? Interviewers Jillian and Cam. Do I have to send out two Pokemon? I do. Okay. Um, I, I didn't quite expect that. But I guess I can do that. Um... Let's see. Uh, I don't know what types these Pokemon are. I think Clink is probably Steel, but I forget what Steel's good against or bad against. I'll just I'll just pick some moves and see what happens. Well, that worked. Okay, so, uh, Flame Wheel was super effective against Kling, so that's good. I'll just do it again, there we go. Water Pulse! Strength Coin! Level 16! Good helping hand. Uh, maybe. Let's have a look. The user assists an ally by boosting the power of that ally's attack. It's very situational. Like, you only use it in, like, double battles. Um, as far as I know. But, I mean, it's more useful than probably Howl, which I'm not ever gonna use, so I might replace that. Hmm. <sighs> I should probably really use those stat buffing moves more often, but I don't. It's hard to describe it in just a few words. What incredible potential! I lost. Does that mean the interview is ruined? You got 3600 poker yen for winning. I don't think that means the interview is ruined, but maybe. <gasps> oh my goodness, look at all the friends! It's Mincino! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Uh, let's find. I want you to be my friend forever, Mincino. I don't want to do too much damage. Cute charm. Cynthia fell in love. Me too! We're all in love with Mincino. Uh, I'll try Water Gun. The stab might make it a bit too damaging. Let's we'll see what happens. No, that's good, that's good. That's really good. Echoed Voice. What does that do? Damage? Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Oh my gosh, I hope I get this Mincino. Uh, I might use a Great Ball. Oh, accidentally. Ugh. I keep forgetting that the D-pad doesn't work. 
because I have casual controls on. I should probably switch them off because I'm not really using them, but... Anyway, Mincino is mine. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. They pet each other with their tails as a form of greeting. Of the two, the one whose tail is fluffier is a bit more boastful. Chinchilla Pokemon. Oh my goodness. I love you, Mincino. Yes, nickname. Uh, I'm going to call you Latte. There we go. Latte. Marte spins into a box. <laughs> okay, I need these too, obviously. A wild stuffle. Sincere, I know you can do it. Catch the stuffle, cause it's cute. And I already have one of these, actually. Uh. If I don't defeat it, I might get to try to catch it. If I, you know, attack a couple times. What does Endure do? Hmm. Wild Stuffle became confused. Mm, yeah, I'll try throwing a Pokeball. Click. Just Stuffle was caught. I can one get experience points. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba 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 <laughs> Would you like to give stuff full a nickname? Yes. Hmm. Um. Let me think. Bears. Bears. Just go with something like Sally. It's cute. Look at that little smile. <laughs> Da, 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 da. What is that? Spritzy. Okay, we're at about 30 minutes, so once I've caught this, that's the end of the video, but... I will be catching this first. Uh, let's see, water gun. Don't want to do too much damage. Oh cool, that didn't do a whole lot at all. Super helpful. Uh, that's not helpful. I need, I need that, that's my health. Uh, I'll try a water pulse, please, please, please don't do too much damage, do too much. Oh, okay. Um, why didn't attract affect me? That's so weird. Hmm. Water gun. Yes. Aromatherapy. A soothing aroma washed with the area, but it failed? Okay. <laughs> you're mine now. Oh no! You're not mine now, I thought you were. Uh, okay, I'll try again. Maybe uh, another Pokeball? Pokeball, sorry. No, no, Spritzy doesn't want to get caught. Um... A, a gray ball? There we go. Huh. I don't know if this has like, they maybe they have an ability that makes them harder to catch or something. Because it was about as strong as the other ones I've been catching at similar health levels, so I don't know. Fritzy's data will be added to the Pokedex. The scent its body gives off and raptures those who smell it. Noble ladies had no shortage of love for Spritzy. Fairy type of human Pokemon. Hmm. Uh, let me think. Perfume Pokemon. Um. I, I don't know. Uh. Just, I just go with Perfumer. If I can spell it correctly. You know, like from, um, she -ra, Perfumer. There we go. Not really a creative name, but, you know, whatever. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, um, that's about it for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next time, we'll be, I guess, heading through this route. I don't know how long it is, so... Let's maybe have a quick look at the map. Uh, looks like we'll be going kind of far to get to Holbury, across this long bridge here. It might not be as long as it looks, though. Also, we might be able to go down into the wild area, and we might have a look around there. Because you can see that's part of the wild area down there. I don't really know what to expect. We'll see. <laughs> um, we'll probably be cutting back through here by the looks of things. Because uh, I haven't been this way yet. And there's like an area over here with another mine in it. Oh my god, Galar Mine and Galar Mine number two? They couldn't just give them different names? <laughs> That's silly. Anyway, let's save the game. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for now. Bye.